Hi everyone, this is Trevor Grieco. I'm the Director of Medical Device Solutions at Medical Metrics, and today I'm going to tell you about a fully automated x-ray measurement technology known as SpineCam. This technology is FDA 510K cleared for cervical and lumbar spine. All you need to do is upload your standard of care x-rays to this platform and you'll get results back in a couple of seconds. Let's take a look and see what this looks like. So we uploaded an extension image, a flexion image, a neutral lateral image, and a neutral AP image. There was no additional input required. The AI fully analyzed this and provides automated measures of spinal alignment and motion. <clears throat> on the left, I'm gonna pull in an annotated neutral lateral done by the AI, and on the right, I'll pull in the respective report. You can see that the AI labeled the neutral lateral imaging and all the vertebral bodies from C2 to C7. It also landmarked those, and those landmarks are used to give you accurate and reliable measurements of spinal alignment, as you can see over here in this report. Measures like disc angle, disc height, spondylolisthesis, and other segmental parameters are available on demand. You also get C2, C7, lordosis, SVA, and other global parameters um, <clears throat> in this alignment report. On top of the static alignment analysis, SpineCam delivers a robust assessment of spinal motion both segmentally and across the entire C2, C7 region. We also, um, that's, a, that's accompanied by what we call stabilized imaging. And this stabilized imaging is an extremely powerful visualization where vertebral body is registered between flexion and extension. As you can see here, the C4 vertebral body is frozen in place while I flip back and forth with my mouse wheel. This enables us to really appreciate the motion that's happening at a segment like C3, C4 in this case. And on the right, you can see that that type of motion is quantified and it's flagged. So we have rotation and translational measures at every single level here, as well as the global range of motion from C2 to C7. And you can see very quickly that there's an abnormal amount of translation over four millimeters at C3, C3, C4. And the report goes on to tell you that that amount of translation is abnormal and consistent with criteria for alteration of motion, segment integrity, or AOMSI, as defined by the AMA guidelines for permanent impairment evaluation. <clears throat> so thank you for taking a little bit of time here to learn a bit about SpineCamp and looking forward to enabling you with it.